retreat here and I've come here to praise and thank God for the mighty miracle he has done in our lives. Not one but two. Last November my husband had a major heart attack on November 8th. So we admitted him in the hospital and there he developed pneumonia. So he was in a very critical condition and the doctor said there is no hope. He will not survive. But everyone gave up hope. But I was only pleading the blood of Jesus and I used to go and go to the ICU and plead on each and everything. So one fine day a miracle took place and his ventilator was removed and he came back to life. I was in for another shock when they did an angiogram and they said that he has got three blocks and he has to undergo open heart surgery with three stents. So we didn't take him in Mysore because it was quite costly. We took him to Bangalore, Jaydeva Hospital. There they gave him for three months treatment and they said he has to undergo a surgery. But after three, after three months, again they did an angiogram. They said we will do an angiogram. If it is necessary, we will uh, do a, a surgery and put three stents. But with all everybody's prayers, when they did the angiogram, all the three blocks had decreased. The 90% block had become the smallest block. And today is alive with us. I praise and thank Praise God. the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you. Especially from Dubai to come here. Please come. Twenty-five years. All the ailments, sinus, and I'm completely cured. I would just say the power of forgiveness has so much power that you can't imagine what it can be, it can do to you. So if anyone still has not forgiven someone. I would recommend you to forgive and you can see the power of Lord working in you. Praise Him. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hosanna. First of all, the healing came to my life. I changed the whole life. God changed me, helped me to change my body, soul, even my inner being. I learned to get away from my sinful life and reach out to my family and conversion of my children and they are blessed and my severe spondylosis is healed. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are the God who saves us Worthy of all our praises I was here in 1996. I had to face so many problems and was going through a crisis and then one day I realized that I was not well and there were indications and that uh, I was led to a doctor and this doctor said he suspected that I was having breast cancer. So immediately uh, after some time uh, tests were taken and anyway uh, doctors couldn't confirm. So I think I have two sons, one of the sons said why don't we go to Porta? I'm sure if we take a step there's going to be a miracle. So I was here in 1996 with my two sons and was going through this retreat and one day uh, I went for confession, I went for counseling and then one day one of the preachers uh, said that there are various the pro problems, people are here with various problems and there are two people here, one is a breast cancer case and the other, was, other one is uh, a suspected breast cancer. So soon after that, this preacher said, you know, you have to forgive somebody. You are unable to forgive somebody. And if you forgive, Jesus says, forgive this person and you will be healed. So immediately I recalled, I remembered the person whom I couldn't forgive. So in spirit, I wrote a letter. 
I said, look here, I have had a problem with you and I really, I'm very hurt and I'm angry with you, but today I have decided that I'm going to uh, let go of this and to forgive you. And I went on praising the Lord. Then immediately the prayer session stopped and this preacher said, he mentioned my name and said, Thiris, you're healed. So I, had, I got up, I looked around, there was nobody. And it was only me because God, the Lord healed me. When I came, I couldn't raise my left hand, left, uh, left hand. And then uh, I realized the end of the retreat, I was able to raise my hands and I was able to praise the Lord. Now, uh, since 1996, I couldn't afford to come here. I had, I had no way to come. The miracle is one of my sisters, she is a sister, a mother, a father, a brother, who gave me the ticket to come today. So I praise and thank the Lord. The miracle is that I will lead, I am led here. So I thank and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sister. Hallelujah. Praise thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Praise thank you. you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, When she was seven months old, she has been having a lot of seizures. And uh, today she's four years old. The doctors are not able to tell us what exactly is her problem. Uh, she's, because of which her milestones have been delayed. She started walking late, started crawling late. And currently she's not uh, talking. She says a few words, but she's not talking completely. Because of which I have been completely anxious. Uh, my anxiety levels have gone to a different level. I've had the fear of everything, of everything in the future for me, and I, I began to doubt God, but after Father said that today people have been delivered of all of these, I felt completely healed and I could feel it passing through my body. Another testimony I would like to talk about is, um, in the beginning of this year, um, we clicked a few pictures for New Year, and I have a Divine Mercy picture in my house. And it was right above my baby girl. There were rays passing through her, her chest, and she had a hole in her heart. That, that happened on Jan 1st, we checked, uh, when this picture was clicked. But uh, on Feb, we, we had to do an ECG. We checked the ECG report, and her hole is completely gone. It's disappeared. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Thank you, Thank Jesus. You Praise are the God who saves us. Worthy of all our praises, Hosanna. I've been suffering from stomach pain for the last 20 years. And I've been treated in Dubai, in UK, in a very good hospitals. Again in Bombay, in, in Ambani and in Doja. And after due endoscopy and scanning, doctors say there's nothing wrong. There's sensory bowel, nothing wrong. Then I went to my family doctor. Again, he told me to take, take a report on the, on the stomach. He said, there's nothing wrong with you. I said, so what is the problem? So there's nothing, you just apply some balm and all. I said, okay. But still I was getting the pain continuously and I could not sit in the chair like this for more than three hours. But, and when I came back, I came to Pota, I carried my medicine. But from first day I took some medicine, from second day I did not take any medicine. And today also it was slightly paining in the morning. And uh, I was thinking of taking medicine, but I said, no, today is the day of healing, I will not take. I said, God will heal me. And uh, today in the evening, during the edition time, till now, there is no pain for stomach, nothing. I am very comfortable, no uneasiness. And I thank God and I praise God for him. Hallelujah. We thank Jesus. I'm free after 20 years. Praise the Lord. Last year when I came for the retreat, as soon as I came in, I had high fever. And uh, the day... All the way on the journey, I had high fever, I had a bad cold, as I have it today again. But last year when I came in, as soon as I came in and sat here, the fever left me, the cold left me, and I was perfectly fine throughout the retreat. 
secondly last year when i came i had a great desire to speak about the word of god to my prayer group i'm a praise and worship leader and i'd ask god for this grace and this year he gave me two opportunities to speak about the word of god and that too the courage i don't have the courage to stand and speak but he gave me so much of courage and the word that i spoke on was on that you cannot serve two masters and somehow the power of the holy spirit worked and when i stood there it was not i who was speaking but the power of the holy spirit that spoke through me praise the lord God hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus in your kingdom broken lives are made new you make all things new this is my first retreat in uh, divine i got a healing of my cervical pain when sister maria was conducting adoration thank you lord and when father was doing conducting physical healing i have my l4 and l5 was compressed from past one year i had a severe back pain after little uh, work i used to get pain but praise praise you jesus i am healed with that pain and i could really understand the meaning of eucharistic celebration father jacob explained very well i feel so far i never understood but god has blessed me with so many graces i could do good confession i could forgive so many people like i thought i uh, maybe it is uh, taken for granted but now i realize so many things thank you jesus praise, praise you jesus. jesus hallelujah thank you jesus cuz when we see you we find strength to face the day in new presence all our fears are washed away in 2006 my son met with an accident uh, when he was in kg the blackboard fell on his thigh and his thigh bone slipped and uh, my husband told that we will go to porta kerala and i'm sure that uh, he'll be okay and the doctors had said that he, uh, we cannot remove the plaster immediately so it will take a long time because the slit the thigh bone had slit completely so we bought him with the uh, with the plaster to uh, porta kerala that was in 2006 and immediately when we went back when we prayed and we went back it was miraculous they opened the plaster and they told us that he is completely well the joint has just uh, it's all fine and you don't have to remove an x-ray for years and this was like it was a big miracle coming here and it is all thanks to my husband who pushes me into this thank praise you all praise hallelujah god. thank you jesus praise to jesus hallelujah the reason why we my wife is sitting in the back the reason why we came for the retreat was we wanted to spend some time with jesus some quality time with prayers and i never expected any kind of healing but uh, during the phys- i have this occasional or rather uh, the asthma problem when i get when the, when the climate changes so i use inhaler which i always carry uh, during the physical healing i was praying for all all, all, all of us for healing to jesus and uh, when father announced two people announced of asthma that one struck me and when i kind of took a deep breath my chest was completely clear so i praise and thank god jesus and he is the he is the lord that he that is not he's not he 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 is not uh, the god who heals you yesterday or tomorrow but he is the god that heals you now praise the lord thank hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah worthy of all our praise such wonderful things in my life that it has brought me so closer to god and coming to porta was a very instant thing that happened i was always uh, reading about porta and the deliverance everyone has got and i was going through a very turmoil in my life where i wanted god's answers and uh, it so happened that 
the ticket fares suddenly dropped. And I was checking the website, and the ticket fares to Cochin only dropped by Jet Airways. So I called up my uh, travel agent to book a ticket, and she was surprised herself, saying in this 35 years of her career, this is the lowest it has gone ever. So praise God that he made a way for me to come here. And when I came here, I was full of doubts, spiritually, mentally, physically, a lot of questions to ask Jesus. And as the retreat progressed, I got all my answers. So I thank you, God, for restoring my faith in him and bringing me more closer to him. Thank Hallelujah. You. Thank you, Jesus. Praise come have your way among us. We welcome you here, Lord Jesus. Hosanna. I, I wasn't expected to be over here. I had come for some training. I was there for about a month in Trivandrum. I had my ticket booked for the 25th. Then I don't know how I suddenly landed up here. Somebody suggested it was a desire of mine to come here. And I landed up over here. So I knew that things were going to happen for me. You know, and uh, I'm a regular smoker. I smoke about 30 cigarettes a day. And I walked in over here the previous day. I went outside, sneaked out and had a cigarette. I still had some cigarettes. I asked my uh, roommate, I said, is it all right if I smoke? He says, no, you don't smoke. So I didn't know what to do. And I, I don't know, I just didn't touch that cigarette. And the craving is not there. And I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. So during the physical healing, you know, when I was taking a breath, you know, I found a lightness on my chest. And I knew I was healed. I know I will never touch another cigarette. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, 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 that's, not, that's not it. You know, I have a back pain. Somebody was talking about an L5. I have an L5. I wear a belt, but I haven't used it on this trip. And I'm a bit uh, cautious about it because I, my bags are sometimes get locked. And I'm stuck in that position. And, you know, steroids only help me to ease the pain. Praise the Lord. I've been able to bend and move sideways this way and the other way. And there Hallelujah. is no pain. Praise Thank the you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Last year, Feb, I was diagnosed with blood cancer. I did my number of chemos, followed with bone marrow transplant, and, I, and we have a uh, prayer answering an awesome God that, I did, uh, that this year, Feb, I rejoined my work again. And during this uh, holy adoration, I, I felt a spiritual healing. I felt Jesus touching my heart and telling me He is always with me, no matter what sicknesses, He is there with, with me and to heal us all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are the God who saves us, worthy of all our praises. Oh, I came here to quit drinking. I was a very heavy drunkard. I start drinking as soon as I get up till I fall asleep, blackout. If I don't drink, I don't sleep. And then it has come to the extent that I don't feel like eating anymore. And then after I came here, there was no specific day, but then I didn't have any more craving. And then I got some sort of peace and joy inside me. And then I was having this insomnia for so many weeks and months. And then I sleep only when I really drink and go, I get blackout. But I, after this confession session, after I reach here, from that night on, I started having good sleep. Praise Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. come have your way. Of unforgiveness and vengeance uh, in regards to my dad, but uh, he's passed away 15 years back. But I could not forgive him for the past issues we had when I was young. But today, in the inner healing service, I just felt the presence that I should forgive him totally. And now I'm sure he's happy. May his soul rest in peace. And one more thing is also I've um, been having the spirit of laziness. I left my job. I was, had a good job in IBM as a manager in training, but I left it uh, six years back and just wasting my time doing nothing. But today when Father announced that uh, if there are five people who's got an opportunity to get a job, I really felt that uh, it's, I'm one of them and my laziness is gone and God has kept a good job in Stofi when I go back to Calcutta. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Two years back, 
back, I had attended the retreat, and I had a particular uh, intention. I wanted to, uh, a grandchild, and I wanted a daughter-in-law too. I had a particular girl in mind, and I came here and I prayed over it. Though it didn't happen immediately, after I went home, I realized, uh, I mean, I was blessed with a grandchild, and this particular girl whom I had in mind had also become my daughter-in-law. So these are the favors I got. Praise the Lord. Let's clap our hands and glorify the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. You are the God who saves us, worthy of all our praise and Hosanna. On the first day when I reached here in Kota, I got a phone call from my home that my sister is very sick and she couldn't walk. So, um, so I pray. Then on the second day when I uh, give a call, then she is healed. Praise Lord. And also, after a deep core of my sadness and fear, I could see that Lord has healed me. And uh, also one thing, my friend, Mrs. Bhalang, she could not know, she don't know how to speak English. After the adoration, um, she feel that Jesus said something to her in her heart. Uh, I am third. If you are really a good disciple of Jesus, uh, please repent your sins and be obedient on his commandment. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In your kingdom, broken lives are You make all things new. I had a severe backache and uh, during the yesterday's uh, adoration, physical adoration, I felt the touch of Jesus right at my back and at that instant I got a healing and even I got a stage fear also but I am here now with the God's power. I just want to praise and thank God. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Come have 